Welcome to Lumi. In this video, we will talk about the average of a function. Given this data, we would like to know how much we actually spend in average every day of the week. To do that, we need the average function. Let's see how to compute it. The formula is quite simple. You're going to add up every dollar you spend every day, and then you divide that by the number of days during the week, in this case, seven. So 10 plus 12 plus 10 plus eight plus 10 divided by seven. Now we want to go further, and we want to generalize this idea of average cost of lunch, not for a specific week, but for any week of the year. To do that, we need to define a function that tells us exactly how much money we spend every day of the week. We call that function f. In our case, Monday is going to represent the first day of the week. So f of 1 is 10, f of 2 is 12, f of 3, which is Wednesday, is equal to 10, then f of 4 is 8, f of 5 is 10, and then during the weekend on Saturday and Sunday, we spent no dollars. So f at those days is equal to zero. Now we can represent our data using this new function. The average cost of lunch is going to be the sum of f at 1 plus f of 2 plus f of 3 all the way up to f of 7. And now we divide by the number of days, which is 7. This gives us the average cost of lunch for whatever week of the year we want. By the way, we defined our function f. We obtain the value we obtained at the beginning. 10 plus 12 plus 10 plus 8 plus 10 divided by 7. The average cost of lunch did not change for that specific week. We can generalize this idea. If we are given any function, then the average of a function is the sum of the function values divided by the length of its domain. In our case, the length of the domain is the number of days. In that case, it was seven. Now, this idea of the average of a function was defined for seven days, the days of the week. This is what we call a discrete set of points. But what if we want to define this idea to an entire interval of real numbers? To generalize it, we need the notion of integrals. So suppose we are given a continuous function f of x, and you, we want to find the average value on an interval a, b. The idea is pretty simple and it follows the same pattern. We're going to divide two quantities. In the numerator, we're going to add all the values of f. To do that, we compute the integral from a to b of f of x times dx. Recall that when we go from the discrete case to a full interval, summation is thought of as the integral. Now, the length of the interval is just b minus a. In conclusion, the average value of a function f of x defined on a closed interval a, b is 1 divided by the length of the interval, that is b minus a, times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. This is the formula for the average of any continuous function. The average of a function has a very interesting geometrical interpretation. Look at the graph of this function f of x. We're going to consider a point on that graph. That point is going to determine a horizontal line, y equals to f of c. With that horizontal line and the lines x equals a and x equals b, we're going to determine a rectangle. All right, the area of that rectangle is going to be 
the basis, which is B minus A times the height F at C. The mean value theorem for integrals states that if f of x is a continuous function on the closed interval a, b, there must be one of those points c in the open interval a, b, such that the area of this rectangle coincides with the integral of the function. In other words, the area of the rectangle is the same area as the area below the graph of f. But we can state this in terms of average. The value of f at c is exactly the same average of the function on that interval. Let's compute the average of the cubic function on the closed interval 0, 1. We can also denote the average of a function by the symbol f and then a bar on top of it. This is the formula. In our case, a is going to be 0, b is going to be 1, and f of x is x cubed. When we plug this into our formula, we obtain the following integral. 1 divided by 1 minus 0 times the integral from 0 to 1 of x cubed. This is a quite simple integral. The value is 1 over 4. This is the average value of the function. Let's recapitulate what we have learned so far. We learned the notion of the average of a continuous function on a closed interval a, b. We saw a very interesting geometrical interpretation that gives us the mean value theorems for integrals. And that's it on average of functions. Stay tuned and see you next time.